There's an upcoming merger between Tesla and Daimler, a move that has triggered different reactions. Could Tesla merge with or buy out Mercedes-Benz? The answer depends on what you think about Tesla and Daimler combining. So let's have a look at the impact of the merger with all investors and analysts' reactions in mind. Tesla would make very good use of Daimler and its strong presence in markets like Germany and China. Elon Musk mentioned earlier in a conference that he would be open to working out a deal with another automaker. As Tesla is an aspirational brand, the best fit would likely be an established luxury brand. Skimming over most mainstream brands is easy enough, including Ford and GM in the USA. Probably BMW would match up nicely with Tesla for its recognized driving dynamics. However, being owned by a family would likely rule out a takeover. With Korean and Japanese car companies off the table based on past transaction histories, that leaves Volkswagen, Audi, and Daimler. As Volkswagen is already fully invested in EVs itself, Tesla could find a match in Mercedes-Benz. Tesla could take serious advantage of its established global presence and increase output fourfold. It wouldn't be an easy task, mind you, as Tesla and Musk would have to deal with the constraints of a German governance structure. So Daimler is currently evaluated at $74 billion, which, under U.S. stock exchange rules, means that Tesla would only need stockholder approval to spend up to $100 billion or even more. And Tesla is worth an estimated $540 billion, which would make any purchase easy. Like any other topic, there will always be divergent opinions, and there are those who believe that Tesla will swallow Mercedes-Benz parent company Daimler without even asking. Plus, there's an opinion that Daimler is way overpriced and its internal combustion engine business and dealership will cost too much to get rid of that side of the business. The reaction is anchored in the perception that the quality of Mercedes is better than Tesla. But Tesla and other EVs will wipe out Mercedes if Daimler doesn't speed up its EV plant and transform its business faster, which, to be fair, Daimler is trying to do with more electrification and battery factories. And it doesn't end there. There's an opinion that Tesla buying another automaker is insanely unwise. If Tesla wants to buy a business, perhaps it should focus on several key energy companies, in particular those companies that are energy providers to Tesla gigafactories. Also, if Tesla buys Mercedes, consider this. Shedding off the ICE business will be an immensely time-consuming task that will take years. Why would Tesla get mired in that? There will be several brands available in the next few years without that baggage. Elon has already said that he'll not do a hostile takeover on any German car makers. However, he said he would have the conversation that if any of the car makers want to have that conversation, for Daimler, it might be in their best interest to start thinking seriously about a joint venture with Tesla before it becomes obvious that their time is up. But keep in mind that Tesla and Daimler cooperation doesn't even have to be a joint venture. It all comes down to who has the best tech. Tesla can say, if you want my tech, we'll sell it or license it to you. Why would anyone want to buy a potential customer? So regarding these Tesla-Daimler merger rumors, some people don't quite see the advantage for Tesla doing this. Why would Elon want to deal with the unions? We don't know what Tesla would gain from Daimler. More managers? More obsolete machinery? At this point, Daimler would like to be taken over, so it's saved. We might not have a lot to say about the possible merger, but here's what we do know. Tesla is a leading battery electric vehicle maker in the world. Elon Musk and Tesla have proven their manufacturing capabilities over the last three years. The company has also deftly navigated the supply chain bottlenecks by showcasing its software and chip expertise. Tesla's engineers have developed their own software, which has been instrumental in their production and delivery cadence. The general auto industry's just-in-time inventory management model seems to have crumbled over the past year due to chip shortages. However, Tesla's software expertise was put on display despite also being impacted by chip shortages. We believe that Tesla's advantage and capability in software will continue to define its lead and its valuation over the next 10 years. We believe Tesla bulls should consider carefully whether Tesla can maintain its leadership in the world's largest EV market. Tesla and Beijing have formed a symbiotic relationship so far. The Chinese government wants Tesla to take the lead in pushing its leading new electric vehicle makers to new heights. Beijing is keenly aware that Tesla is the undisputed leader in the EV space right now. But it doesn't intend for that to carry on in the long run. China has ambitions to dominate the EV space globally. Tesla has increased its annualized production run rate on Giga Shanghai to 600,000 as it delivered 52,900 vehicles in November 2021. 
It also marked a third consecutive month that Tesla has delivered more than 50,000 vehicles in China. It'll be very interesting to watch when Tesla begins to ramp up production in Giga Berlin in 2022. Tesla has proven its manufacturing capability as it surpassed an annualized run rate of 1 million vehicles in 2021, of which Tesla sold 402,200 vehicles in China as of November 2021. China's importance to Tesla's current leadership is therefore very clear. From the look of things, Tesla has by far a lot to offer Daimler than vice versa. Tesla could deliver 1.5 million cars in 2022 with the 2021 start of production at Giga Texas and Berlin. Big changes await Tesla in 2022 as the company will begin mass production at two new factories, which will entail a major increase in overall production capacity. Information from a manager of the company hints that in 2022, Tesla will be able to achieve production of 1.5 million vehicles as well as develop in many other directions. The starting point is over 936,000 in 2021. Assuming that the rate of 300,000 plus units per quarter can be maintained for all of 2022, the company would be at 1.2 million. But there's no reason to remain flat at a particular rate as the company expands Model 3 and Model Y production and the sales are ramping up for the refreshed Model S and Model X, as well as adding new plants. In terms of new plants, according to the latest reports, Tesla Giga Austin in Texas should start production soon and Tesla Giga Berlin, Germany also appears ready to start production. If those two new plants would add 300,000 together with a maintained rate from fourth quarter by the plants in California and China, the total would then exceed 1.5 million. That's 600,000 additional BEVs in a year. We believe that there's potential to go even higher than that. The two new plants probably will be ramping up production not only over 2022, but also in 2023, increasing volume and adding new products just like the Tesla Giga Shanghai. Tesla has a first mover's advantage that's hard for rivals to challenge, let alone beat. It's positioned itself as the EV market leader at a time when a historic pivot from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles looks extremely likely in the near future. It has a very prominent name despite having close to zero advertising budget, and it's investing in massive factories aimed at meeting surging demand and likely to help capture market share once the electric metamorphosis takes off. When it comes to carving out leading market share in the mushrooming EV sector, the rubber is already hitting the road with Tesla's existing lead and Ford's huge rapidly advancing initiative to break into the market. Toyota's tardy entry into the EV market is likely to limit its gains in the sector. In a nutshell, Tesla already has what it takes to maintain its EV market dominance. Maybe a Tesla-Daimler merger will suffice at some point, but that's for Tesla and Elon Musk to decide. Let us know what you think via the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.